What's up everyone, Justin with Jake Apple here, and today I'm here to do a video test of the new Apple iPhone 5. This is using the front-facing 720p HD camera. So now they did up it to HD, so just let you guys take a look at this. I am also using the built-in microphone, so you can go ahead and listen what that sounds like. And from first thoughts, I do think it's really, really good for vlogging. Anybody who even wants to use a front-facing camera, but the back-facing camera does look really, really good. So let's go ahead and switch to the back-facing camera. So now we're using the back facing camera at 1080p 30 frames per second and I have to say the video quality is just great. This definitely works really well if you're thinking of doing any sort of vlogging. As you guys know digital point and shoots do take pretty good video quality as well but I have to say it's pretty comparable um, on the iPhone 5. The iPhone 4S has pretty close camera specs as well at 8 megapixels and pretty much the only thing that has changed in the iPhone 5 is the new sapphire crystal lens that is more. So let's go ahead and take a walk around the block here. I'm also using the built-in microphone, so let me know what that sounds like. Just give you guys a tour of the neighborhood while showing you guys um, what the tree details look like. There is a lot of trees around here, so it's a perfect example of trying to see the details and the colors. And on the screen, it def definitely looks like a really nice improvement. I did check out Ty's iPhone Helps video test. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the front-facing camera here. The back-facing camera. Just let you guys take a look at how accurate the colors are and also the details in complex objects, plants, um, just a picture of a helmet here, and the water bottle. And as you can see, there's also a pretty good level of depth of field at 2.4. So as you know, in the iOS 6 update, the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4S now has a panoramic image feature. In the beginning, it is quite hard to use to keep it steady, but overall in the end, it does have pretty nice results as you can see in my examples here. And the images did come out really, really big. And so you can definitely print them out in full size and they still look great. I actually had to crop it down for a very long time to get it to fit on the sheet. So this is pretty much the end of this video, guys. You guys had a chance to look at the front-facing camera, the back-facing camera, and its microphones, a new added microphone in the iPhone 5, and also a chance to take a look at the photos it takes now. So overall, if you have the iPhone 4S, you won't really notice a huge difference apart from the new sapphire crystal lens, but if you're coming from the iPhone 4 like me, you'll definitely notice a huge difference in terms of both the um, photo and video quality. And if you're coming from the 4S, you'll also notice this, the um, front-facing camera is much better than the one on the 4S, as it is now 720p HD. So if you're thinking of vlogging, I definitely think the iPhone 5 is a great option to have a camera with you without having to carry another point-and-shoot. So I definitely think this is comparable to the point-and-shoots. It overall takes great HD video quality, and the photo quality is also really, really good. Probably even better than most of its competitors, such as the Samsung Galaxy S3. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.